Akanji there alongside Haaland after the game. Of course, uh, Akanji has got important, Casey, because Schalke were frustrating Dortmund up to that point. Yeah, very much so. I mean, I mean, the first half, it, it wasn't a classic Dortmund performance. And some of that had to go down to that, that Schalke had obviously come in, in in such horrific form. They just knew that they couldn't open up. They had to be extremely conservative. But they were aggressive, and they made it difficult, and they stepped out tight whenever the space was there for Dortmund to, to try to open them up. Uh, and then eventually, yeah, I mean, off of the, off of the corner, it just kind of eventually just didn't get cleared and in a kanji with that you know nice little you know toe poke that gets it into the side netting so it was it was crucial and then from there uh dortmund only got stronger and then obviously holland with that fantastic finish to, to really in the second goal you know more or less sealed it the third was just icing it was a nice assist as well from uh, Jaden sancho in the second goal for holland yeah very nice and i think it, it was great i mean when you see what holland did when he when he gained possession, didn't have a lot of help, just kind of pirouetted back centrally, waited for the help to come, gets it to Sancho. But then one thing that I think every striker needs to take a look, every young striker, look at what Erlen Holland did after he passed the ball to Sancho. He absolutely sprinted into the area. So regardless if he didn't get the ball, he was going to create space for someone else. And but knowing the the quality that he is, the pace that he has, once he got on that run and the pass was perfect, and then he, you know the two of them were joking around about his right-footed finish, but it was something special. And and to be able to go from that pace, from that distance, and then have that composure just to to chip it over the onrushing goalkeeper, it it shows why why you know we were talking earlier about Lewandowski is 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 the top goal scorer in the world. Well. This kid is going to be uh, biting at his heels real quickly. And, and to, to have that sort of technique, and they were laughing about the fact that normally he just blasts it, but to do that sort of skill with your weaker foot, and he's, as he says, he's been practicing with it, uh, it just shows kind of his dedication to, to the cause. Well, that's the whole idea, right, Dan, is you, is you play to your strengths, but you work on your weaknesses. And obviously he felt that he, he needs to continue to work you know, on those small aspects of the game that he can improve on. And, and that's, you know, that dedication to the craft is the reason why certain players who have already the, the, the genetic ability, the physical ability, the mental ability, that just makes them that extra bit special. And uh, he obviously comes from a, a football pedigree and he's got the work ethic and the mentality to go along with it. And that's why the sky's the limit for this kid. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.